What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is a uh, first impressions review of the Anderson Ultimate Hitch. And then I'm also going to be uh, telling you guys some of the things that I was told at the dealership whenever I got the new camper and this Ultimate Hitch. Um, let's get to it. Okay. So, um, whenever we bought our brand new camper, the Arcadia 3660 RL, um, the dealership, and not just one person at the dealership, there was three or four different people at the dealership that told us um, if we wanted to use our goose ball, the only adapter um, from do, to do a goose ball to a fifth wheel pin that would retain your Lippert warranty on your frame is the Anderson Ultimate Hitch. Um, even the sales manager told us that that was the only thing that would retain our warranty with Lippert. Um, well, I called Lippert and that's not accurate at all. Um, they do not stand behind the warrant. Like they don't warrant, they don't stand behind this. If your frame gets messed up and you're using this hitch, you're stuck. You're gonna have to pay for the frame yourself. Um, they only allow one hitch, Lippert, and that is the Reese Goose Ball. That is the only a uh, gooseneck adapter for the pin box that they will stand behind and warranty if something happens to your frame. So I was lied to, you maybe you were too, um, there's the truth. <clears throat> Alright, as far as like uh, a first review of this, we've only had it a little over a month. Uh, it's extremely light, obviously it's made out of aluminum, your grandkids could hook it up for you. Um, but that being said, you know, there's pros and cons to aluminum. Aluminum, you know, it's not steel. It can break a whole lot easier. The tensile strength of this, um, of this hitch, it's made of uh, grade 80 aircraft aluminum. Tensile strength is 45,000 PSI. Um, <clears throat> that's not a bad thing, um, but you just got to take into mind, it's aluminum. I mean, it can easily shear off and I will show you some pictures here in a second from Amazon um, reviews from people. So the main problem with this hitch is that um, the ball that goes in the receiver right here is also made out of aluminum. So there's been several cases of people that are you know going 10 miles an hour and they get hit on the side of their bed or something like that and that ball shears right off and uh, just the camper will fall into your truck or it could run into the cab of your truck it just depends on how fast you're going into circumstances right but um so <clears throat> what I did to kind of combat that I, I want to say it's a known issue because you can go on Amazon look at the reviews and see the pictures but they're also going to be in this video so let me grab um, my solution to that problem as of for now until maybe later on I don't know I'll just see how I like this thing but uh, let me grab uh, a modification that I had a machine shop do for me to well completely decrease the ability of that ball shearing off <clears throat> okay so here's the aluminum uh, adjustable height ball that comes with the Anderson Ultimate Hitch. It's extremely light and um, like I said they have problems with them shearing off in accidents. <clears throat> so I went to a machine shop and I had them make me this. This piece from here to here is cold rolled steel. It has a tensile strength of 125,000 PSI. Um, what they did is they k drilled a couple of uh, adjustment holes for me and then they th uh, drilled through all the way and threaded it down with this collar here so that whenever it sits down on the hitch there all of the weight is on the top of the Anderson where this one doesn't have that lip and it uh, distributes the weight differently so the machinist that did this for me explained that with this collar it'll put all the weight on the top of the um, that hitch back there and dissipate the heat not dissipate um, and distribute the weight much better and then they took a steel ball um, a 2 and 5 16 steel ball with I believe half inch threads and threaded it into the cold rolled steel so if something happens and somebody runs into me or something like that I don't have to worry about this ball shearing off and the camper going wherever it wants to obviously it won't go wherever it wants because I have safety chains, but I've also ran into a few other people on the road that didn't know anything about 
these failing and they didn't even have safety chains. So if you're using this, get safety chains, especially if you don't go to a machine shop and have them do this. Anyways, guys, uh, that's my review for, for now. Um, I'll give you another review maybe in like six months or something like that. But uh, that's all I got for you. So stay safe out there on the road. And remember, if we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.